there welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to be reviewing a flashlight which I bought recently through Amazon now, this fella now this soda can sized mofo is the through night TN 36 and it's an absolute monster over six and a half thousand lumens which if I'm honest lumens mean nothing to me higher numbers are better obviously a bit like candle power but all I can tell you is this is damn damn bright like all the through nights comes with a good case velcro access belt loop D clip for hanging various places very good but very standard and this is what we're really here to talk about this is a heavy big flashlight I was gonna swear there because it is a big thing and the light that's generated from this is like having a supernova in your pocket it's unbelievably bright three LEDs in there four 18650 batteries fit inside the body inside this cradle and like the bigger through nights it does take these big batteries high capacity got grease on here smells quite nice with a seal and when that's screwed down this is 100% waterproof nice grippy checkering on the body security wrist strap pretty much all the things you'd expect from a good quality flashlight and it's got one button on the top which accesses all of your modes and I'll run through those for you now so we've got the very dim mode firefly mode for navigation in pitch dark when you don't really need a massive light output to find your way on the path or through trees so going from firefly mode if we keep this button held in longer it'll cycle through various brightness settings bam 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 and then back to the very dull one we can access another setting which is like a secret level by a quick double press of this button which is ultimately super bright and that one's turbo mode now I've found that when you've got that turbo mode on if you leave that on for a few minutes not only will it devour the batteries but it also heats up this whole end cap something terrible but then again something terrible might be something excellent in the winter when you want to warm your hands it's like having a portable hand warmer like quite a lot of other flashlights out there it also has a strobe setting as well so anybody of photosensitive disposition may want to look away now I find it a little bit tricky to get into this strobe setting switch it on double press to go into turbo double press again to go into strobe I would have really liked to have seen just on to strobe straight away but I'm not quite sure how you would do that you possibly need another button or maybe as if it was in turbo if you held it it would then go into strobe I'm not sure but that's a little bit tricky to access as far as a hunter goes it's not very convenient to get into that strobe setting and sometimes when you get rabbits or foxes running you might want to put them in strobe really disorientate them get them to stop you've got to fart about quite a lot to get it into strobe so it's not too good for hunters it's excellent for my kids messing around in the house because they go like this in the strobe luckily neither of them suffer from epilepsy you'll see the results of the nighttime test in a moment but a quick roundup is that this is a damn heavy torch output is unbelievable I mean it, it literally is like it's having like a full power hunting lamp in your pocket it lights up an incredible area but as a hunter I would like to see that huge lit up area brought down into a spot I'm not quite sure how you would do that but some sort of focusing mechanism on here don't know whether it's possible especially with three LEDs you might have to 
enlarge that? I really don't know. I'd like to see it brought down to a spot for lamping. And also, unless you're assaulting some terrorist base, I can't really see why you would need the strobe. Now because these are primarily marketed towards the outdoor types, like myself, something that would be a lot more useful for me personally, and I guess for a lot of you guys watching this, would be to remove the strobe option and put SOS in there instead. So when you press that, instead of it going bang, 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 bang in strobe and possibly causing any of your rescuers to suffer a fit, in my opinion, it would be better if it had dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 S, O, S. Anybody around the world who's been involved with scouts, guides, cubs, mountain rescue, any of the forces anywhere in the world will recognize that signal because it's international, SOS. Exceptionally useful to have this here. So let's take a look how it does in darkness. I've picked two different places. One is a mine tunnel where I know it is absolutely pitch black. There's no light infiltrating there at all. I'll give you an idea of how it lights up somewhere that's confined and I'll also be testing it from the balcony where my log cabin is above the pond and I'll be trying to light up all of this on a night. Now given the limited nature of normal camcorders, light gathering capabilities, it needs to be pitch black for you to get a good impression of what I'm actually seeing when I'm using this flashlight. So I've chosen that tunnel there behind me because I know in there it's absolutely pitch black so hopefully with this lovely flashlight I'll be able to bring you a true impression of what I'm actually seeing when I'm using it at the different power settings and that's how dark it is in here Okay, that's the least powerful setting on the TN36. Perfectly suitable for seeing things close to you, making sure you stay on the right path through woodland and so on. We'll switch it up to high. Ooh, that lights up the whole lot. No problem at all. Give it a quick go on turbo. Bang, that's even brighter. My God. That's lighting it up. It's literally like daylight in here. That's awesome. We're going to put it in strobe now to see what sort of effect it gives in absolute darkness. So if you do suffer from epilepsy or think you may, skip past this bit. It'll be on for about 10 seconds. Whoa, that is bright. That's bright and flashy. I don't want to suffer a seizure in here because I may never be found. So I'd better switch that off. <laughs> okay, this is looking across my pond in my garden. Approximately 35 yards to those trees at the back there. And it seems to be lighting up quite a lot of that. The camera won't be picking up all the peripheral light, but you can see it's lighting up quite a lot. It's doing well. And that's on full power, not turbo. That's on turbo. And even on the viewfinder there, I can see that makes a hell of a difference. So hopefully, you can notice the difference on the video. That is really lighting up the whole damn pond and everything in the wood. That's bright. That is hellish bright. In fact, it's so bright, it's just caused that cockchafer beetle to crash land here at my feet. Unbelievable. It flew straight towards the flashlight and then crash landed on my deck. Yeah, let him fly off. Turn this off, let him go. Now in the summer, I'm going to test this fella in there. I'm going to put the dry suit on, 
use an underwater camera and I'm going to swim underneath there with a torch check its waterproof capabilities we all know they're waterproof we've seen them in numerous videos being chucked in the stream they still work underwater I want to try and get that on video though and I know for a fact there's little trout live under there so that should make quite a good video and hopefully something of this power will light the whole lot up water's crystal clear should make a cracking video so look out for that one taking cost out of the equation and not mentioning cost is this a good flashlight yes how can I say no yes it is all the different settings I'm not quite sure about the strobe I can't see the point in that now as with all the through nights I would like to see colored filters available for these they wouldn't cost much to produce and I've mentioned that the through night they are looking into it that would make it excellent for woodland because something of this brightness in woodland when you're trying to see far through the trees it's just simply too bright you get too much reflected light the red filter on here you'd be able to filter all that out and be able to see way through the trees way up into the branches it would really transform this and make it very suitable for hunters especially if they're out in pairs one was operating this because it can't fix to your rifle it's just too damn heavy and the other one with the rifle so one operating lamp one operating rifle very discreet as well and by discreet I don't mean it's suitable for poaching just discreet fits in your pocket or hangs on your belt you haven't got wires and straps and all that crap a really good compact ridiculously high output flashlight and the construction of this is excellent absolutely excellent fully waterproof now this is heavy too heavy for everyday carry and I did see a comment on somebody else's video when someone said I use one of these in my EDC bag and I'm thinking how big is your EDC bag if you've got this that's a ridiculous choice it's meant for lighting up large areas with high intensity light it's not an EDC tool at all now when I bought the TN36 came in this wonderful quality box when I opened it up found out it's got two spare seals and a spare rubber for the switch instructions guarantee etc etc and then I picked up the flashlight out of the box and I thought that seems a little bit light that's good really nice lightweight and obviously incredibly powerful flashlight went to turn it on hold on what the hell's on here no batteries doesn't come with batteries unless you specify that when you buy it so I got a bit of a shock there so I actually got four through night batteries I also ordered four spares as well because I've got a hunting lamp I've got a TN12 and now the TN36 all of which take 18650 batteries so I bought those ones Fox Novo same sort of spec as the through night ones which in themselves are just through night wrapped over Panasonic batteries so they're based on Panasonic they all fit the through nights very well they also fit my existing lamp which I think is from clue light so it's always worth getting some spares yes it will cost you the earth for something like that and eight batteries but looking long term it's well worth doing so would I recommend it based on the fact that I actually bought this thing yes I would if I thought I'd wasted my money I wouldn't recommend it but this is something that's gonna last me for years and years very pleased with it indeed thanks for watching check out my other reviews on my channel see you next time it's like having a portable supernova in your pocket absolutely what a light. It's getting warm now though, and it hasn't been on for long. That's a TN36, but at the bottom it's got how far the beam goes. 299 meters. Why didn't they just say 300? Because I don't think anybody's gonna check and pull them up on the fact that it only goes 299 and not 300. 300 would have looked so much more impressive. <laughs>